Narrative Pro 2.2 is now released, and in this video we're going to show you how to get it set up and installed so you can start making a game with it. To follow along, the first thing you will need is obviously a copy of Narrative Pro 2. The link to get that will be in the description, and it's actually on sale right now, so you can get it half price. It's usually a good idea to use Narrative Pro with the latest engine version that it supports, and with 2.2 being released, you can now add it to 5.7, so it supports that. I'm going to use that today, so I will install to 5.7. Next, I'm going to open up Unreal Engine 5.7 and make a new project to install Narrative to. If you already have a project, you can skip this step. And I would highly recommend a C++ project. Even if you're just using Blueprints, there are some advantages to having a C++ project, so you may as well go with that one. Also, Narrative does have some asserts, and these will look like crashes if you're in a Blueprint project. We often get... Uh, people saying that narrative has crashes and they're actually asserts, which is kind of like a warning But in a blueprint project, they will crash your project So make sure you go with C++ and that way you can continue through the asserts. I'm just going to call it narrative tutorial Go into the project that you just made and make a plugins folder in your project and the reason for this is you want to install Narrative Pro to your project. By default, Epic will install it to your engine. For Narrative Pro, that's not a very good idea. You really want to have it in your project. So make a plugins folder. Then you want to go to wherever your engine is installed. This will usually be program files, Epic games, and then in my case, it's UE 5.7, engine, plugins, marketplace, and it should be in there. If it has a bit of a weird name, uh, just rename it to Narrative Pro. So once you find the Narrative plugin, it should be in Engine Plugins Marketplace usually, uh, you will just want to move it over to your project by pasting it into your project's plugins folder. So what you should have is a new project, a plugins folder, and Narrative Pro in that plugins folder. Once you've done that, delete Narrative Pro from your engine. You really don't want it installed to your engine. Now that I've installed it to my plugins folder, I'm just gonna regenerate my solution, and that will mean that I can actually see the plugin in Visual Studio, which is kind of important. If you ever wanna change the plugin or modify it, you need to be able to see those code files. So I'll just regen here. And because you've copied your own version into your plugins folder, you've now basically got your own custom version of Narrative Pro. You can modify this version of Narrative Pro and kind of make it do what you need it to do for your game. So I'm going to open up my new solution now. Okay, so once you open up your solution, if you go into your project, you'll see the plugins folder and you'll see Narrative Pro and you'll know that Narrative Pro is installed. You can go ahead and run your project now by uh, making sure you have development editor, Win64, and then start the debugger to open up Unreal Engine. This local Windows debugger is exactly what I was talking about before when I was talking about asserts. If you have a Blueprint project, often those asserts will crash the project, but because we're running through the debugger, those asserts will correctly actually show you the assert on the screen. And an assert is just like a warning. So let's say you didn't input some data correctly into a weapon that you create with Narrative Pro. Narrative Pro might warn you using an assert. And because we're using a C++ project, it's going to show you on the screen, hey, you didn't input some data correctly. And it will tell you the assert rather than just crashing your project. While we're waiting for Narrative to compile here, if we go to the Narrative Pro source folder, just to quickly explain the sort of layout, um, it's relatively self-explanatory, to be honest. We have Narrative Quest Editor and Dialogue Editors. These are the Dialogue and Quest Editor tools that come with the plugin. Narrative Save System is used to save the world. Narrative Common UI is kind of the foundation for some of our UI. Narrative Arsenal is where the bulk of the plugin is. And this is packed with stuff. You can see camera, character, cinematics, components, gas, interaction. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here and this is kind of the main framework in here now when the project opens you're going to get a few warnings the first thing you want to do is add this entry here to fix that warning and then you will get this notification that the project settings do not match the required ones so open the project settings using this prompt 
click on update project settings and all of your INIs will be updated. You don't want to restart because this won't restart through the debugger. We're going to use the debugger to restart so we can simply go back into Visual Studio, click this little thing here to restart and that will actually restart through the debugger. Once your project is opened back up you will be in the demo map and if the demo map is black just go down to where it says no loaded regions and load the map in by right clicking and load from selection and you will see the narrative pro demo map pop in this is kind of a basic little map that we made to show off some of the features in narrative pro and you should basically be able to just play right away if you hit the play button you can see I get a character spawn in, I can run around, and I'm away. This is the demo map. I can press T to get weapons out, like I could equip a steel greatsword right now. You can see it works pretty nicely. Last thing you need to do is make sure you have uh, show plugin content enabled by clicking this little cog here, and then go to Narrative Pro, Pro, Core, Abilities, Cues, and then drag cues into your game's content folder and copy it in there. If you do not do this, uh, you will not have certain VFX show up. Like when you shoot weapons and they're not shooting, that's how you fix that problem. You need to move the cues into your content folder like that. And now if I was to take a weapon, like a pistol, My VFX are showing up nicely. Something you might be wondering is when you uh, save your game and go into the character creator, why is it that I'm not having any options show up? What, where is my character? The reason for this is because Narrative Pro does not ship with character art. You have to add your own character art. But we do offer a, a pre-made sort of metahuman setup. We're just not allowed to ship metahumans with Narrative Pro, right? You have to add the metahuman to your project. So let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. We're going to go to the plugins here and make sure that we have the bridge plugin turned on. Here it is here. And you can go to this little plus, go to Quixel Bridge, go to MetaHumans. And basically what we did is we've just pre-set up the character creator to point at the Oscar metahuman assets. And obviously you don't have Oscar in your project, but what that means is if you add Oscar to your project, the character creator actually will work with Oscar. We encourage you to not use this pre-made Oscar and actually set up your own assets. And to learn more about that, you should watch our appearances video. But if you're just looking to get something working as quickly as possible, literally just click on Oscar and add the cinematic version of Oscar to your project by clicking the add button. It's gonna ask you to enable a bunch of MetaHuman related plugins. You can go ahead and do that. Once I've enabled those plugins, I'm gonna restart the project again. For some reason, my map has unloaded itself. It should remember to be loaded in usually. I'm gonna reload the map here. And now that I have that Oscar metahuman in my project, if I play the game, I'm going to save my game. I'm going to open the character creator. And you can see that Oscar now shows up in the character creator. And I can even do things like change the color of the shirt. You'll notice that like some of these options don't do anything. That is because they are just kind of demo ones that are there to kind of give you a starting point. And we really encourage you to go into the character creator configuration and input your own options. We, we let you put whatever you want in. Go and watch the appearances video to see how those are kind of set up. But at the bare minimum, you should be able to do things like change the color of the clothing and so on. You'll need to give your character a name before you exit. So I'm just gonna put in Rubes as the name. And you can see I'm now on the level and I'm able to play as a metahuman. I can get a sword and a shield out, go into first person, and it's working pretty nicely.
And that's it. You now have Narrative Pro set up in your own project and you're ready to go. Narrative Pro is a very big framework, so I'd recommend getting started by watching our one hour video where we sort of go over the framework in more general detail. This will give you just a really good overview and will act as a pretty good starting point before you continue your journey. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out in the Discord and good luck with Narrative Pro.